Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these gingerbread wells, let's begin. To get started on the recipe, you'll want to grab yourself a large mixing bowl and place in your butter, followed by the icing sugar and ground spices, and mix this together over a medium high speed, starting on medium low so you don't get icing sugar everywhere, but then once that's incorporated, mix on a medium high speed until fully incorporated, the mixture should look lighter and fluffier, you can then add in your vanilla and just whisk until it's fully combined. Give the bowl a good scraping down and this is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and add in the first weight of plain flour and you'll have two weights of flour, don't worry, always add the first weight first and mix that in until it's fully incorporated. Mix until you can't see a single trace of it. There may be a bit around the top or the bottom of the bowl and this is completely normal. That's why you give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and add in the second weight of plain flour and just mix this in on a low speed to start with working your way up to a medium high until it's fully incorporated. You don't want to see a trace of a single ingredient apart from around the top of the bowl which is completely normal. Then you can go ahead and grab your bowl and give the bowl a good scraping down. This time it might be a little bit more difficult as the dough will be a lot more developed due to the amount of flour but don't worry it's still easy enough to work with. You may need to warm the mixture in your hand when you place it into the piping bag then you can go ahead and pipe your rosettes onto the paper. I recommend drawing templates onto your greaseproof paper, but again, you can just do this by eye if you're pretty confident. You can then go ahead and place them into your oven and bake them off. I will leave all of that information you'll need in the blog post, which will be linked down below, so don't forget to go and check it out. But in the meanwhile, you can go ahead and make your buttercream. So into your mixing bowl, place your butter and your icing sugar and mix the two together until they are fully combined. The mixture will be lighter and fluffier. Usually you'd beat the butter on its own, then add the sugar, but no, for this recipe, it's an all-in-one recipe. And as you can tell, I left it for a little bit too long and the mixture's gone pretty white. Then add in some vanilla and just mix it in until it's fully incorporated. Place it into a piping bag. You don't need to fit a tip if you don't want to, as we're just keeping it plain, but if you want to, feel free to. Pipe a border or a ring of buttercream onto the one side of the biscuit and repeat for all of them. And once you've done that, you can then go ahead and generously fill them with some salted caramel. And salted caramel and the ginger in the biscuit works really well. Then you'll just want to sandwich the two together, press them down to apply a little pressure. And that's it, you're done. If you want to finish them off with something a little different, just sprinkle over some icing sugar. This is the simplest way to finish them and probably the best, but if you're not intending on serving these straight away, I recommend doing the icing sugar at a later date. So I've kept things pretty simple this year, but next year you can develop these into something much better. And, you know, more gingerbread, so you could add more of that ginger flavour without the fieriness. And maybe that's something I will work on next year. Definitely more gingerbread work, so keep your eyes out for that. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again soon with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description. There'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog, and links to all my social media. So don't forget to go and follow me over on those, as I am trying to be a little bit more active over the month of December. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.